Hello, my name is Chris Woodward and thank you for joining me for this video, which introduces configurable analyzers being developed for the 3.5 release of ArangoDB. Arango Search is a natively integrated AQL extension that offers full text search functionality. This functionality includes text analyzers, text scoring using the TFIDF and BM25 algorithms, a lightning fast inverted index, and now with the new features coming to 3.5, even more ways to customize and speed up text queries. This video will take a quick look at the new configurable analyzer feature that allows for creating analyzers with different types, properties, and features. I've provided some links that will help you get up to speed with Arango Search, Views, and Analyzers in general, in case you're not already familiar with those topics. Configurable analyzers offer ways to pre-process your text in order to make text searches more performant and convenient. Some of the things that this functionality provides includes case conversion to allow for case insensitive searching, stop words, accent removal, stimming, and many different types of predefined analyzers. The available attributes when creating an analyzer are name, type, properties, and features. The name value must be a string and follows typical naming conventions with ArangoDB, such as when naming a collection. You also cannot create an analyzer with the same name as a default analyzer. The type value must be supplied as a string and there are six analyzer types currently available. Identity, which returns the input unmodified. Delimiter, which breaks up delimited text into tokens. Stim, which stims text for supported languages. Norm, normalizes text, including case conversion and accent removal. Ingram, which produces ingrams for text and can be useful for searching for substrings in text. And lastly, text, which can be useful for general text analysis and has many options available, including case conversion, stop words, accent removal, and stimming. The text option is a bit less specialized compared to the other types, and if you only want to accomplish a specific task, it may not be the most appropriate option. Due to its flexibility though, we will be primarily using it in this video. Next is properties. The properties that can be supplied are dependent on the analyzer type chosen. We will take a closer look at the ones that are available with the text type in a moment. The last available option is features. Currently, there are three features to choose from, frequency, norm, and position. An important callout is that position is dependent on frequency, so attempting to create an analyzer that uses the position but doesn't include frequency will return an error. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example of how analyzers can be helpful and how to configure an analyzer. We will be working in the Arango shell throughout this video. Once connected, the first thing that is needed is to require the analyzer module, which I will assign to the A variable. There are a few methods available with the analyzer module. We will use most of them throughout the video. Now that we have access to the analyzer module, we can take a look at the built-in or default analyzers by using the toArray method. This method shows all of the available analyzers and since we haven't created any, we only have the default identity analyzer and locale specific analyzers. We can view the properties of an analyzer by passing its name into the analyzer method, like this. The default analyzers don't have any stop words and the locale specific ones have a locale set. To view the features with each, we can instead call the features method. Each analyzer has all three features enabled by default, except for identity, which doesn't have position. Let's take a look at one of these analyzers in action to see what they're actually doing. An easy way to test and see what an analyzer does is by using the tokens function, which takes in a string value and attempts to tokenize it using the supplied analyzer. 
The first value that you need to supply to the tokens function is the string you want evaluated. So for this example, I will supply the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And for the second parameter, supply the analyzer to use. For this, we will use the English text analyzer, which is just text underscore en. Executing this returns each individual word in an array. This is possible because the text underscore en analyzer is type of text, which is capable of breaking up strings into individual words. However, if we change the analyzer being used to another default, identity, which doesn't include the position feature and by definition just returns the input unmodified, we will just get one item in the array containing the full sentence. For our configurable analyzer, I would like to make an analyzer that converts all characters to uppercase, removes accents, and has stop words. To create an analyzer, we must use the save method. The save method simply takes in the attributes of the analyzer. If you recall, the first attribute is name, which I will call configured analyzer. And next is the type of analyzer. Here, I will choose text since it contains all of the options that I want. For the text analyzer, we have a few options available. The first one is locale, which is required and is the language.encoding variant supplied as a string. Next is case, which can convert text case to uppercase or lowercase letters. It takes in one of three values, either lower, upper, or none. The default value, if case isn't supplied, is lower, which means by default, the text type converts text to lowercase. For our use case, we want to convert everything to uppercase, so I will supply upper as a string here. Next is stop words. Stop words takes an array of words and excludes them when indexing text. This is useful for words that don't add any real value but may show up often, such as with conjunctions like the, and, or of. Next is accent. Accent is a boolean and its default value is true, which means by default it preserves the accents on letters. Since we would like to remove accents, supply false here to indicate we would like to not preserve accents. The last available property of the text analyzer is stimming, which is also a boolean and determines whether or not stimming is applied to returned words. I will supply false here as stimming isn't a part of my criteria. Due to the text type having the ability to break up strings into words, we don't need to apply any features, but if your use case calls for some, they would be in an array after properties like this. This should be all it takes to convert our sample text to uppercase without accents. All we need to do now is the same query with the token function, but this time change the analyzer to be our new configured analyzer. And excellent, that mostly worked. This sample text doesn't include any accents to remove, and you may have noticed that our stop words were still included. The stop words still being included in the results has to do with the fact that we converted all of the text to uppercase. And if we look back at when we created our analyzer, we gave it all of the stop words in lowercase. Let's make a new analyzer with the updated stop words. To do this, we can take a look at how you delete or remove a configured analyzer. You simply call the remove method of the analyzer module and pass through the analyzer name. And that's it. Now, if we pull back up the previous statement for when we created the analyzer, we just need to update our stop word list to have all the words capitalized. Now, let's do the token statement again, but this time we want to have a word that has an accent. So I replaced all the O's with an O that has an umlaut on the top.
Now we have an analyzer that converts all the characters to uppercase, removes stop words, and removes accents from letters. This example is using only one of the six analyzer types, and each specialized analyzer has their own options to help with your text value analysis. Throughout this video, we created the analyzer using the underscore system database, which means the analyzer is available to every database as it is a part of the global scope. However, you do have the option to use another database and save the analyzer to that database's local scope instead, which means the analyzer would only be visible to that database. Having the analyzers on the system database is common and convenient. However, the option to adjust availability is there in case your use case requires it. When deciding which features to use, there are a few things to consider. If you want scoring, the only feature that you need is frequency. However, if you want to use phrase, that requires both frequency and position. This still gives you access to scoring. And additionally, in both situations, you have the option of including norm. Normalizing helps with improving scoring results, but it is optional. Orango Search is getting a few other upgrades aside from configurable analyzers in 3.5, including sorted search views, zero cost collection scoping for views, and returnable scoring values. I hope this video has piqued your interest in Orango Search and configurable analyzers, and be sure to look in the description for more learning resources. Thank you again for watching this feature introduction video, and be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more content from ArangoDB.